Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Club Disney SMP. I hope all of you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Now in today's episode, as I'm sure you probably realize from the title and the thumbnail, it is finally time for me to show you guys my house. <laughs> I have worked non-stop on this pretty much and I think it's finally to the point where I am ready to show you guys what I've been working on and I'm really, really proud of it. So, ah, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're ready to get started. Of course, we have to go to the player teleports and to my little teleport room because that is where everything begins. All right, so this is my teleport room and when I joined this SMP, they had previously decorated it up um, with a little bit of Pocahontas vibes, but I decided that I wanted to redecorate it uh, and just give it more of a feel of Pocahontas, you know, just kind of represent her a little bit more. So that is what I have done. So as you enter the room, the first thing that I really wanted to do was have Grandmother Willow. So if you guys are familiar with the Pocahontas movies or you've watched it, then you will know that um, a big character in the Pocahontas movies is Grandmother Willow. So here is what's supposed to be like a willow tree. And I tried my best at making Grandmother Willow's face. Um, I had a picture of her pulled up on my screen while building this. And I think it turned out pretty good, honestly. Like, I feel like you can definitely tell what that is. And that, of course, was built using chisels and bits, along with all of the vines. All the vines were chisels and bits as well. And over here on this wall, uh, the shelves were already here, but I decided I wanted to keep those. I added a wreath, um, this little fancy crafting table, a few little, you know, decorative pots. Um, and then over here we have some corn and some crates and over here we have some, a little chest area where I can keep my things which actually these come in very handy because I've used these a lot <laughs> um, but I've emptied them out for now um, but there's a little chest area we have a tree we have this little chair just a little sitting area which I think is nice and then we also have the raccoon that I made in chisels and bits. So if you are familiar with the movies, then you'll know that Pocahontas has a little pet raccoon or little friend raccoon named Miko. And I really wanted to have a little raccoon in here. So I made one using chisels and bits and put them right there, which I think is absolutely adorable <laughs> um i have not yet made a little hummingbird that is one of my plans um because flick is also part of the movies but i haven't made him just yet but eventually i will but for now we have miko there and then there is this little balcony area up here that i have a ladder going to and this has my bed a little hanging plant this little dresser and another little plant. And of course we do have the fairy lights with these flowers that I think represent Pocahontas pretty well. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for my teleport room. And now it's time to go to my house. All right, so this is where you spawn in, but the teleport to get to and from to my house is actually this little fire right here. It's right in the middle. That's the little teleport button that will lead you back to my teleport room. And this is based on part of the movie. And it's this fire that has all these vivid colors to it. And I really wanted to create something like that. And of course, it is a little bit hard to create things like that in Minecraft. But with a little bit of creativity and chisels and bits, of course, I came up with this. So there's all these different colored flames. Which I think is really really cool and of course it's just like a little fire pit around it um, but yeah that is the teleport button and then we also have these what do I, what do I want to call them totems like a little totem pole and these are actually based on the IRL Powhatans and I tell you what I have done a lot of research from the movie and also IRL as well so you're gonna see quite a few things that are realistic um, to the Powhatan tribe, 
which I think is really awesome, but also some things that are movie related as well. So to continue on from this, we're gonna head up to the village now. So this is what I call the Powhatan village. And the first thing you're gonna come to is this very large fire pit, which is pretty realistic to how it would have been IRL. So you have this large fire pit and I decided to make some little clay bowls, <laughs> which I thought was a nice detail. Um, you also have some ash, which is all of this um, blackish gray colored stuff. And then we have like this little bitty fire pit for, you know, roasting pigs and just all kinds of meats, you know, boars and whatnot. So there is that and that was made using chisels and bits as well. I have a little sitting log and a mortar and pestle. And I guess what we'll do is we'll make our way from right to left. We'll just work our way around that way. So over here is what I kind of consider the animal area. So this is kind of like where you would hook up your horses or some hay. And in this little hut here, you have some more hay, a bucket of water, and then just these shelves that have leads on them. So that's kind of for basically the horses. It's kind of like a horse hut. <laughs> Um, and then this hut right here is actually the food hut. So we're gonna have a bunch of food in here. You have some cornbread here, which is actually realistic, although they were called ash cakes, but the Powhatans actually did make those. So that's kind of a cool little fact. Um, but you have some corn, some fish, some eggs, and then you just have some like rabbits and pheasants and stuff hanging up along with fish and everything. So this is just kind of like the food area. And then over here we have all of my animals and I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to make the barn area but I figured I would do something like this and I especially wanted it to blend in with the other buildings so I needed to have some sort of hay and that's why I decided to do the hay roof. So that was all chiseled in bits as well um, but I have it angled down and we have chickens and my pigs and one of those little piggies are actually from me completing animania but he's in there and then we have some cows and some little babies and then over here we have sheep as well and of course i know the sheep and the chickens won't use the troughs but they're just kind of there for decoration um but yeah so there's all the animals um now over here we have what i consider the sleeping area so i made these little beds with hay on them um but there's just lots of little beds in here and there's another entrance um over here <laughs> is something that i really wanted to make it was something that i seen and i knew i wanted to make it so here it is this is an actual boat and it it looks pretty similar to the irl one that the powhatans used they would just take a long log from a tree and they would just kind of make these indents in them enough for a person to pretty much sit down in and that was their boat which was actually really really cool <laughs> but i used chisels and bits and just kind of made a little indent in here and made some little oars and i think that it made a pretty good looking boat <laughs> to be honest with you and then over here we have the dock and it's a pretty nice looking dock if i do say so myself here is a crate that will eventually have some fishing rods and everything in it but i can just sit out here fish for as long as i please <laughs> um and then over here as well is kind of like a boat docking area um there's a crafting table some more crates for storage and whatnot um but there are these little like docks for the boats so you can take your boat out on the water which is pretty neat so there is the dock and if we head back up here to the rest of the hut you'll see that there is a bunch of these um tanning racks which are for hide and that's something that irl powhatans used to do as well so i definitely wanted to incorporate that so there are some tanning racks here and this hut is actually based on an irl one that i seen a picture of and it had a bunch of seats actually lining this hut and i wasn't able to do that because we were limited on space just a little bit uh, but we do have a bunch of these little seats that i made 
which looks pretty cool. We also have a bear rug, <laughs> which I thought kind of went with it. Um, and then we also have just some racks with some leather, bowls, feathers, all that good stuff. And some crates back here, because they used like the back half of their huts kind of for storage. So I think that's pretty neat. Also, one thing that I learned as well that the IRL Powhatans did was they had these little vents at the top of their huts, which is actually really, really cool. Because as you can imagine, if you got in here and you had a fire going, then it would get super hot. Um, and fires, of course, need to have some sort of oxygen to let all the smoke out and everything. So they would have these little vents, which is really, really cool. Um, but I decided to make a couple of those. So that one has it, and this one over here has it as well. But they're super awesome. I, I just thought that that was a really cool detail. Um, but yeah, okay, so that is pretty much it for the village. Now we're gonna move on to my house. So you're gonna come um, across this long bridge <laughs> over to my house. And of course my house is pretty darn big as you can see to live in one of those little hay huts over there would be pretty unrealistic as far as minecraft goes because you need lots of room to store all of your items and chests etc so that is why this house is as big as it is but it still has the aspects of fitting in with the village so the village has a lot of hay as you can see <laughs> so the roof is of course made out of hay and the rest of the house is made out of pretty basic blocks there's willow wood there's oak wood and then just regular old cobblestone nothing special with that so they're pretty basic blocks that's all of what this house is made out of and i went with orange windows because i feel like orange goes with the aesthetic of pocahontas <laughs> Um, but alright, so let's go ahead and explore the inside of this and then we'll kind of work our way around the outside. So this is what it looks like from the front of the house. And as you're walking up the pathway, there's a few different little plants and everything, which I think is really cool. Two more of the little fall wreaths and of course the sign that says Hope's House. Alright, so here we go. <laughs> as you enter this house, it is pretty open. It's an open plan. I didn't want anything to be closed in, so it's all pretty much in the open. Um, there is this nice little rug here, which I really like this rug. It's really cool. And it kind of leads you to all the different areas. So over here is the dining room table. And I used a old table. I forgot what this I think it's called an old table. Pretty sure. Um, but there's an old table, some old little chairs, and then I did some orange chairs on the ends just to incorporate that orange a little bit more. And there's that bunny. This bunny has been here since the very beginning when I built this house. It has stayed in here. <laughs> I'm, I need to, like, name it or something. I need to give it a name. Actually, that's what you guys can do. In the comments down below, you, you give me name suggestions for this little bunny. Because, I mean, I don't think he's going to go anywhere. He's been here for as long as I can remember. <laughs> oh, my. All right. So, let's work our way this way. This is the kitchen. And it is a little bit of a more modern kitchen. But I still tried to keep it a little bit simple. So, I went, like, with the clay kitchen design. Um, so, we have all the clay cabinets. Um, there's some eggs. Little breakfast platter. Stove. Pretty simple stuff, really. Not anything too special. Uh, I do have some like pheasants and things hanging up up here, along with some spices. A little plate rack. Um, this is really cool, by the way. This is like a fruit basket, and I filled it all up with fruits and everything. That is just so cool. Fridge. Some little Coca-Colas, which I thought was really cool as well. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for that. These are just some other little knickknacks just for decor. Now this area, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do, and I ended up making something that worked in its favor. <laughs> so this is just sort of supposed to be almost like a little storage area for food and whatnot, so barrels and crates and everything. And this, actually this ship right here, came from one of the quests as a reward, so that's kind of cool. Um, but right behind here, there's actually a secret. So no one tell anyone. Gotta keep it a secret. <laughs> um, but if you hit that little lever, it's actually going to open up a ladder. 
and we will explore that here in just a few. I'm not gonna explore it right at the moment, but that ladder goes somewhere special. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there is that. And over here by the door, we have some books. There are some little keys, which I thought was cool. Up there is kind of like a little reading nook with more books. Uh, it's another little shelf, umbrella rack, hat sand, all of that goodness. Um, over here, these balloons also came from a quest. <laughs> and I really didn't know what to do with them, so I just plopped them there. <laughs> it works. Uh, this is like a little broom closet. And this is kind of like the TV area. So there is an old fashioned TV, um, like an old trunk and these, these little pillows, you know, you just kind of sit on the floor and watch TV. Also, as you probably have noticed, there is a couple cat things like this cat tower and that little cat box over there. Those are here because I am getting a cat soon. I'm saving it for an episode, but I will be getting a cat. So that's why those are here. And then we have a little uh, bookshelf, a little AC, you know, gotta keep it cool in here. <laughs> and then this is like the living room area. So we have this really nice furnace, this rug, nice little couch, couple chairs, that's nice. And then we have this little jukebox and a little um, disc rack, which I don't think I have any discs yet. I don't think so, but if I do, then they're gonna go on that wall. Um, and then we have this cat clock, which is awesome. A little cherry blossom in a vase. Just really cool looking things. I think this ship also came from a quest. Uh, just more books. And that's pretty much it for downstairs. So if we go upstairs, this will be my bedroom slash bathroom. This is actually in the very top of the house here, as you can probably tell. Um, but this is like my bedroom. And we have a little chair with some like little knitting needles. We also have a sewing machine, which that came from a quest as well. And we have these books with this little moon and stars, which I thought was really cute. Over here in this corner is like the bathroom area. I really wanted to have some sort of bathroom in here, but I still want it to have that open feel. And I decided to just make a little tiny bathroom in the corner of my bedroom and it works. So there's a little shower, a sink. We have some towels up there, toothbrush. We have a little mirror. So that's pretty much all that you need. <laughs> so there's that. We also have these clothes, which that came from a quest as well. And let's just work this way. So here is some of like the little bedroom furniture, which is really cool. So a little dresser and whatnot. We do have some posters in here because I love these posters so much. These are actually some of my favorite movies. I mean, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Back to the Future, Ghostbusters. Like those are all classic movies. I just, I just had to put them in here. So there's that. Um, we also have some more clothes over here. Just like another little dresser, a dream catcher. There's some socks and underwear, which is great. Um, just more stuff in there. Look, there's like little bunny slippers and things. That's so cute. And this is the bed that I went for. I just loved how it had the little headboard space. So I really liked that. And then we have the matching little bedside tables. Um, and we have some like little Polaroids up here, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much it for my bedroom. All right, so as far as outside goes, I've decorated it a little bit. So over here we do have um, this little, what would you call this, cauldron? Hanging on the little thing. It's like a cooking cauldron. <laughs> I don't really know what you'd call it. But it's like a cooking cauldron and a little pot. Also, you're going to see these trees a lot around my property. And I've put little signs up that tell what they are. So you're gonna see quite a few of those. Then over here, you have like a barrel full of pots and some more pots over here with the crate. Uh, this picnic basket actually came from a quest as well. So I decided to make a little picnic area. So that's what this is. Uh, we have a little well for water, which is cool. We also have like a laundry station. So there's a washboard and some water. This is for like a laundry basket and then the little clothesline. So that's really cool. I, I liked that little feature. Some more of these trees that are labeled. Here's another one. 
Also, one thing I did forget is as far as the outside of the house goes, you're going to see a lot of these little flower pots. Um, some of those shutters as well that I used for decoration. So that's kind of what all of this looks like. And then on this side, that's what all of that looks like if you were interested to know. <laughs> really didn't show off going up towards the house. So there's two little pathways that actually lead from the bridge. You can go that way or this way. And I have this little garden area over here with this lamppost, little scarecrow. There's more of these trees that are named <laughs> and labeled. So there's two little pathways, but that's kind of what that is. And the only other thing I have to show you guys is this right here. So this is what is supposed to look like a basement door, like a cellar door. And I actually found a picture of one that I liked, so I recreated that in Minecraft. And this is basically what it looks like. So as you can see, these are like little hinges. That's a lock, little handle. Same with this side. It's just supposed to look like it's open, if that makes sense. Like a cellar door is open. I've decorated it all the way down, but before we go down there, I will show you this one thing. You remember when I said that there was a secret up there? Well, this is where it leads to. <laughs> so when I press that little lever, that brick block um, kind of pulls back and it lets you enter down here. It's just kind of a quicker way to get down here, but it is pretty cool. So that's where that goes. Just thought I'd tell you. Um, all right, so here is my chest room. I know some of you guys have already seen this from previous episodes, but this is it. There's lots of chests. I have started putting everything in there, trying to organize it a little bit, um, but this is pretty much everything. So yeah, I have lots of things in there. <laughs> and over here is to my strip mine, which I have started. There's also a skeleton down there that was from a quest as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there is my strip mine. And there's also a door. I I'll just go ahead and show you guys. There's this door to a ravine that I actually covered up all of that dirt right there. Yeah, I covered that up when I was building my house. Uh, but I haven't explored this completely, so that's still open to exploration. Uh, but here's my little strip mine <laughs> um, with the little skeleton. Not creepy at all, right? <laughs> um, but there's that. And then across the hall from the strip mine is what's eventually going to be kind of like the wizardry room and the animal rooms. Um, so I do have my three pets from the Animania course, so... I do have all of them in here. They were in my teleport room, but I moved them out of here. And then I just have a couple furnaces, a bunch of my little shulker boxes, and some more potions and wands and whatnot on this side. That's not completed just yet, but that's something that I will work on, and you guys will see the progress of that. And last but not least, we have the Tsum Tsum and Badge Room. And of course we have this nice little letter banner that says welcome. It's very colorful, I love it. Um, but this is the Tsum Tsum and the Badge Room. I have it decorated pretty nicely. We have more of the fairy lights like we did in the teleport room. Nice little pond. And in here you're gonna see a lot of some of the things that I was awarded doing quests. So we do have like the banner across the way. We have the knight that was part of a quest, the microphone that was part of a quest. This is just kind of an area for all kinds of quest related things basically. Um, over here on this wall are some of the Tsum Tsums that I've collected. Over here on this wall is pretty much where all the Tsum Tsums are. So we have Pocahontas, uh, Pluto, Goofy, Donald, Daisy, Chip and Dale. Um, and then this is one of the pumpkins that I was awarded for the, one of the Halloween quests, but I just thought it kind of matched over there. So <laughs> that's where that is. And there's a bunch of other shelves for other things to be added in the future. Um, then over here is the badge side of things. And these are all the badges that I have collected thus far. I think I may be missing a couple. I'm not exactly sure, but I've tried to... Um, even remember the name of the quests as well. 
to put all of those on here so i don't remember the quest names of these two that's why that's empty but for the most part i have remembered all of them <laughs> uh, but there's plenty more room for more little quest badges so that's what that is and then over here on this wall is more of the costume related things so we have like the little halloween costumes some of these are from the cruise ship like the floaties and the luau just a bunch of different types of things. Some of these were from collabs. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's just a bunch of little different little costume things over here on that wall. Uh, but yeah, I think that that is pretty much it. I think we've gone over everything that is my house. I have spent a lot of time on this trying to make it represent Pocahontas and have that realistic and movie experience all combined in my building and I think that is definitely paid off. I am in love with this house and I really hope that you guys liked it as well. If you want to, along with giving me a name suggestion for the bunny, you can also leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part of my house was. Because that would be awesome to see what you guys liked. I think that that is it. I hope that you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys all again next time. Goodbye!